praise to God our Father and our Lord and Savior and Jesus' holy name. And thanks for tuning in to Four is Written, where we teach the Bible, subject, and title. Today we're going to do a lesson entitled, The Bible, Basic Instruction Before Living Eternally, Part 2. I'm going to give you a definition of love because when it comes to the Word of God, everything, if you do and serve in the right way, is going to come on these two definitions. And the first definition I'm going to give you is love and is a noun. It says a profoundly, profoundly tender affection for another person, a feeling of warm personal attachment. All right. The, the next definition I'm going to give you is a noun as well, home. All right, this is very important to understand why the things is going on in the world today. Because, again, the enemy, which is Satan, he enters into the home structure, okay? If there's no type of structure, and you know, God like the order, he, he's the same today, yes, and forever, but he's order, again, nothing works without no order, without no structure. And it goes back to his children, God's people that teach the Bible. That's why you see all these things going on in the world. Because we have not been taught right. Because again, we're God's children. All of us, no matter what color you are, but he, has, he sort of chose a certain group of people to teach the message. And if we get this message out here, again, people have a choice now whether they're here for bear, whether they're going to serve Satan, which is the world, or they're going to serve Jesus. All right? So the definition of home is now, again, the place in which one's domestic affections are centered. So the name of this title. The Bible, Basic Instruction for a Living Eternity, Part 2. For God so loved the world, the plan for mankind. And we're going to start off in John 3 and verse 16. All right, so this is one of the most quoted scriptures ever. People always say, well, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should never perish. All right, you got athletes putting underneath their, uh, their eyes and all that type of stuff at the end. You can put, quote scriptures all day. That's anybody. But they got to match it. Again, Satan used those type of uh, skills. And if you don't read the book, you can be deceived. All right? So John 3, 16. And again, it's the, the, the verse is correct. But again, it's, you still got to have uh, really understanding. And if, even that, you got to have obedience. All right? So John 3 and 16 and it said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So again, we all his children. All right? It just goes to show again what's going on in the world, who will be teaching the whole world on how to serve our God. All right? He's everybody, God, if you be obedient to his world. Because remember, he made the world. That was the whole point of him saying that God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Because again, his son was a perfect sacrifice. He had enemies. And, and it's like I can relate to him so much because again, you find out who, who you're really, who the light, that, that God gave you that light. Because he didn't know you from the womb. He gave you that light. And if people have to comprehend that, he's showing your life who was there for you and who was not for, there for you. But the key thing is, his hands in everything. So regardless of what Satan tried to do, if you stay fast in the Lord, you got it. So verse 17, it says, But God sent out his son into the world to condemn the world. That's, that's what I'm saying. He made this world, everything in this world he made for a reason. And we're going to get into it in this lesson. He made everything for a reason. All right? So again, his world is beautiful and all the things there is. Everything we see is beautiful. So again, Satan plays on our heart. All right? He plays on the love of God. We make it this fake love. Like this world gives you fake love. Okay, like entertainment, all these people give you fake love. When something happens, you like the Black Lives, the Black Lives Matter movement, even that, that's fake love. Those things to keep us asleep. So they can continue doing these things behind the, the, back, the background. And then you got these false prophets going on Sunday, you know what I'm saying? They're not making it no even no better. So again, if we don't love ourselves and we know who our, we are, how can we teach and lead? Because we are a royalty. So if we, if we can't get it together, again, the Lord going to Again, everybody got a chance of salvation. All right? So, verse 17 said, But God sent out his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Because again, without faith, it's impossible to please him. The Bible, basic instruction for a living eternity, part two. 
All right. So let's go to Genesis one now. All right. So this is talking about the beginning. All right. The reason why he had a plan for mankind. The plan was to become gods. All right. The definition I read in the beginning was the reason why I reason the reason why I gave the definition because again, Satan, Satan plays on our heart. He plays on the things that we desire. It's not wrong with having things, right? Because again, God created everything. So if He created, He's our heavenly Father. Again, if we follow Him correctly by having faith, even with us who teaches His Word, who look like me, again, you want to have these problems in our community. You want to have single parent, all these things. Satan broke, came in when it's a broken home. That's where everything followed. And it all became in the beginning with Adam and Eve. All right, so Genesis 1, Genesis 1, and first, verse 1, Genesis 1 and verse 1. All right, it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. So again, let you know that God is a spirit. All right, he's a spirit. So again, we are spiritual souls. This body is nothing but flesh. But anything is, for my eyes, I eye, that's where your soul is at. So if you see somebody's eye, the person can look in their eyes, or they turn their head kind of way or whatever, that means they don't comprehend the dark. They don't comprehend the light. That's what that means. All right, so again, that was something that was always taught to me as, as, you know, as a young child. Again, fearing God, because again, he created us. Why should we be scared of something that he created? Like Satan, okay? Satan tell you all these false lies and, and, and things that it's like false reality and, and make you like he only wants you to do everything and, and, and reap the benefits of it. Make, like basically control you where the Lord is. He give you choices. You know what I'm saying? But his choice is the, is the best choice because again, common sense most people don't have is how can you serve something that temporarily and God control them. Alright? So verse 3 it says and God said let there be light and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided light from the darkness. So this is very key, light and darkness, all right? Think about day and night, all right? So in verse 5, it says, and God called the light day and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning was the first day. So again, serving God, keeping his commandments, uh, the, the first, very first key of giving us life eternally. You know what I'm saying? So even not life eternally forever, but even in this temporary world, we can be eternal, you know, spirits, because we are spirits. So it's all about the works you put in, or basically who your soul come out to be, either Jesus or Satan, all right? So again, that's light and darkness. So we're going to skip down to verse 20, all right? Verse 20, so... Before, no, sorry, before we go to verse, skip down to verse 20, uh, verse 5 from the day and night, and then we're going to go into uh, the days, okay? So the first day, the Lord made uh, heaven and earth, it says waste and, and waste and empty by judgment, all right? So that light and darkness means that Satan was, was already cast out, but it was just dark here, all right? But again, Satan still have access to the kingdom. He's not going to have access when that time comes, when he knows his time is, is up, and it's almost just about up. So, earth made waste and empty by judgment. The second day, it says, uh, day, uh, vapor arise, and water below. So, it's like the rain and things like that, the um, water below, and, it, and the vapor from the water below rises above. Uh, the day three, it says, land and sea, and plant life. All right, like the things you need, you know, your vitamin, all those things. Again, that's why the world is starting to see things differently about how to take care of their bodies. Because again, we go to the doctor, he doesn't come in the name of the Lord. And at the end of the day, if healing should be something that's natural anyway, our body's naturally healed. So you think about a doctor, you got all these uh, these bills, but it's something that you need to live for. Again, that's Satan controlling you. But again, the Lord allows to happen because again, He wants to have faith. All right. So day four was the sun, the moon, the stars, and they became visible, all right? Again, everything that God has done, he even doing today is good. 
But Satan gives us a reality that's not good. Satan, Satan is the first hater, the first liar, you know what I'm saying? The first person that's full of pride, all those things. And if we follow him, we adapt all those things because those things are not of God. Uh, the fourth day, I'm sorry, the fifth day, it says animal life, fowl, fishes, and birds. All right? The sixth day, it says creatures after this kind, and the example it gave was cattle. All right? And it goes into the dietary law. So, again, that's going to be another lesson that's in this series. All right? So, now we're going to go to... Um, Verse 20, all right, and it's come about the fifth day, and it says, And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creatures that have life, and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heavens. All right, verse 21, it says, And God created great whales, and every living creature that moveth, which the water brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after this kind, and God saw that it was good. So again, Everything God said he made was good. But again, he said it was good, but it don't mean you can eat everything, too. Again, that's, that's going to be another lesson in this series. All right? So verse 22, it says, that God blessed him, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters of the sea, and let fowls multiply in the earth. And the evening and the morning was the fifth day. All right? So basically, this is leading into the Sabbath day. We're on the, we're on the, uh, lead, about to lead into the sixth day. So the sixth day, it says, verse 24, all right, it says, And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creatures, after this kind, cattle, and creeping things, and beasts of earth, after this kind, and it was so. See, God gave us everything we needed. Everything we needed. But again, the haters, he was right there. Satan is mean. They was right there. So it, it, well, he might have had no mean, but still, he's, you know, he's enough already. But again, verse 25, it says, and God made the beasts of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creeped upon the earth after his kind, and God saw that it was good. So it's very important to understand that. Again, he's the same God yesterday, today, forever. So don't think that he don't hear your prayers. It's just he searches your heart. So you either operate in love or you operate in wickedness. All right? So verse 6, it says, this is very important too, because this is the day he created mankind. All right. So it says, and God said, let us make man in our image. All right. That's how we know he, he looked like us. How we look. I just said we look like him. We, we, we made his image. But again, they don't still give us no option to put a face to him. Again, because then without faith, it's impossible to, to please him. All right. So it said, God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth, over all the earth. So, again, he made this for us to enjoy. All right. But again, the adversary got kicked out. He don't have those powers that he had before. Now he wanted to kill his children. All right. Those that's going to follow him. All right. So, again, he's in control of everything. So, again, it says, uh, over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So, God created man in his image, in the image of God created he, him, male and female, created he, them. So, again, the Lord was trying to make a way for man to live forever already. We, he, we already was gods, and we're going to see that. He, we was already gods already, so he's making a place for us to live forever. You know what I'm saying? We just, long we do what we're supposed to do, we were not going to... Put us up above him because, again, the love he showed and the hauntress he showed was perfect. All right? And that's how Satan gets in. That's how he gets into God's children, but not only God's children, but his priesthood. He, that's how he got to us. That's why his things are out of order with us. All right? Look at Chicago. You know, a lot of the churches come out of Chicago. All right? They're teaching his word. And things are happening around that. Again, it shouldn't be like that, but they're supposed to be feeding God's children. All right? Once you establish who, who his people are, then you spread this good news. He said, go teach all nations. That's what he told us. All right? 